Hello, welcome to Crazy Row Studio. In this video, we will be taking a look at Networker NSR tools. NSR tools is an interactive command line utility created by the Dell EMC field support, which bundles different support tools to have one tool in one place. The tool can be downloaded from the FTP link on your screen and also in the description below. This tool supports Networker version 18 and newer releases and the operating system compatibility is listed on your screen which includes Windows 2012 64 or newer, Linux 64-bit distributions that is inclusive of CentOS, uh, Red Hat Linux Enterprise, 6.x, 7.x and 8.x and uh, SUSE Linux 11.x, 12.x or newer. There is no installation required and NSR tool is a read-only tool which means that there is no configuration change that will be done on your system and it is pretty safe to be tinkering about. There are a lot of tools packed into this one package and covering all of it in one video is going to make the video a lot lengthier. Thus, this is going to be a multi-part video. Link to the videos for the different tools are available in the description below. This is the second part of the multi-part video for NSR tools. So in this part, we are going to look at features like NMC password reset, NMC password change, show expired records, duplicate NSR client and duplicated NSR volume. So first, let's go ahead and run the NSR tools. For this, go into the folder uh, where the NSR tools is located and run the tool as dash slash NSR tools and hit enter. And then you'll be taken into the NSR tools prompt. The first feature we will be looking at today is the NMC password reset. So the uh, this feature in NSR tools comes in very handy and is an option to reset the administrator password of the network authority service which in turn is used to log into the NMC as administrator. So there is already a process described in the Dell EMC support KB but uh, that has multiple steps involved in it and to, to find that KB article you'll have to log into the support side and go and search for that particular um, article. But here it is very simple and it involves just a single command and yes, then you do have to restart the network of services once you have done this for the password to be uh, changed. So the command to do this is nmc password and reset and then hit enter. So it is going to ask you for the new password. So let's put in a password that the new password that you want to change and again make sure you follow the suggestion for the password uh, letter and uh, special character number combination and as you can see the instructions it asks you to restart the network services once you are done with this and then confirm it with the OTC command so this is very similar to how it is usually done manually, but yeah, uh, there are a lot of steps that you can skip and directly do it all in just two commands, one for the NMC password reset and the other to just restart the services. I hope that feature is going to be more often used than any other feature on this particular uh, tools. All right, moving on. The next one, the next feature is very similar to the feature that we have just seen. So this feature is the NMC password change. To use this feature, you can type in the command NMC password and change and hit enter. I can't really call this as a feature, but it is more uh, mentioned as a feature in the documentation. I would prefer this more as a knowledge base as it provides you with the command and the steps to reset the password, but it doesn't actually do anything for you. Either way, I guess it is easier for you to get the information from NSR tools rather than logging into the NSR portal and uh, searching for the KB there. Moving on to the next feature, which is the show expired records. So to use this feature, you can run MMDB 
expired expi expired and ssid and hit enter so this feature of nsr tools provides you with the list of save sets that have expired and are currently in the media database of the network server uh, you can it also generates a csv file for each uh, different segment that it creates and if you see i don't have any expired save sets here but if you did have any expired save sets it would uh, go ahead and uh, pull that information out and put it into a csv format to for you to be able to report it better moving on all right so the next feature in our list is the duplicate nsr clients so this feature helps us to identify if there are any client instances on the network server that have duplicate client ids this scenario occurs when two different client instances in the network server are assigned with the same client id so one of the indications that you have a duplicate client id in uh, client id in your uh, environment is that the index for that particular client gets purged as soon as the nsrim runs every day and the save sets even if they are browsable would not have any indexes associated with it so using this feature again is pretty simple all you have to do is run the command mmdb duplicate clients now again i do not have any duplicate clients in my environment so i uh, there is no information or table that would show you but if you did have any client with duplicate clients with your in your environment then it would the output would look something similar to this wherein you would have the client id which is duplicated and the name of the client entries which contain the duplicated clients right the next feature is similar to what we already have seen but this is more related to volume so this feature is called the duplicated nsr volume to use this feature you can run the command mmdb duplicated volumes and again i don't have any duplicated volumes in my environment so going back to the so this is the documentation for nsr tools that you get along with the uh, installation or the binary itself duplicated nsr volume would look something similar to this wherein you have the volume id and the two names or the volume names to the uh, vol id that has been assigned in network so these were the features that i have involved in the second part of the nsr tools so for the next set of features stay tuned for the next set of videos thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video i hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my twitter account i will see you on another video goodbye